The zero layer is the default basic layer in AutoCAD and cannot be deleted. It's similar to the ARCHICAD layer in ARCHICAD, so it's recommended to match this layer pair. Let's see a quick example of how we can set pen color pairs between ARCHICAD and AutoCAD. Expand the Pens and Colors item and select Pen Color Conversion in the left pane. Check the Use Pen Color Conversion Table checkbox and then click the New button. The Edit the Pen Conversion Item dialog appears. Here you can choose an ARCHICAD pen by clicking the Pen Selection button in the upper right portion of the dialog. This lets you select a pen from the actual pen set palette of the project. Select pen 27 from the pen selection palette or enter 27 in the ARCHICAD pen field. Now we can select an AutoCAD color by clicking one of the color boxes of the typical AutoCAD pen set. Click to select the red color in the upper left corner of the AutoCAD pen palette or enter 1 in the AutoCAD pen field then click OK. This will convert the ARCHICAD Pen 27 cut structural wall black color to the AutoCAD Pen number 1 red color in the resulting DWG file. Let's create some line type conversion items as well. Expand line types in the left pane and select the line type dash line type conversion item then click the new button. In the upcoming dialog, choose the dashed line type for ARCHICAD line type and choose the dashed 2 type for AutoCAD line type. Then click OK. Again, the available AutoCAD line types offered are read from the DWG template file specified and lets you convert each ARCHICAD line type to a line type already existing in the template file, thereby not inflating the attribute set of the DWG file. Let's create another conversion pair. Click New, then match the dot and dashed ARCHICAD line type with the dash dot AutoCAD line type. Then click OK to accept it. Select the font style conversion item in the left pane and click the New button on the right side. We use the Arial font style with Western encoding in ARCHICAD and we need to choose a preset AutoCAD text style from the template file for the required conversion of this font. Select the Architect text option in the template style drop down list and click OK. Select Miscellaneous in the left pane. Keep the preset settings on this page. Finally, expand Custom Functions. Here you can find Open Extras and Save Extras. You can fine-tune your translator by editing several custom functions for export and import of certain specific element types between ARCHICAD and AutoCAD. For now, we'll keep the existing settings. We have now finished setting up the translator. Click the Save Settings and Close button to leave the DXF DWG Translation Setup dialog. Switch to the Publisher Set page of the Navigator. Then click the Publisher Set Chooser and Manager button at the top of the Navigator and select the Publisher Sets item in the pop-up list. This lists all available publisher sets of the project. Select 3 MEP Consultant Set and click the Publishing Properties button in the bottom portion of the navigator. Click Browse and specify a destination folder on your hard drive. Also, select the Create a Real Folder Structure radio button 
Then click OK to accept these settings. Double click the 3MEP Consultant Publisher set to open it. Expand the 31 Arc DD Stories folder within it. Here you can see the prepared floor plans with the corresponding settings ready to be exported to the mechanical engineer. With the 31 Arc DD Stories folder selected, select DWG from the drop down list in the Format panel and click the Options button. This brings up the DXF DWG Translation Setup dialog, so you can specify which translator to use for the publication of this set. Select the previously modified Cole 911 Mechanical DWG Translator and click the Save Settings and Close button. Make sure that this set option is selected in the pop-up list of the Sets to Output button, located to the right of the Publish button. Click the Publish button to proceed to exporting the files. This will publish the contents of the selected MEP consultant set. ARCHICAD starts exporting the DWG files. You can follow the status of the conversion in the publishing dialog. It takes several seconds to save each DWG file. When the status of all items has changed to saved, it means that ARCHICAD has finished the process. Click the Close button in the Publishing dialog. If you have AutoCAD or a free DWG viewer, you can open one of the exported floor plans to see it in the AutoCAD environment. If you don't, then you can just follow these steps in the Movie Player. Open the three first floor DWG file from the 31 Arc DD Stories folder in AutoCAD or in any DWG viewer application. Zoom to the drawing. Select some typical elements such as a zone stamp, door, wall line, or object. Notice that all elements have been placed on the architectural data layer. Also, if you open the layer list, there are only the default zero and the architectural data layers. As you can see, the black pen color of walls and other elements has changed to red according to the translator settings. It takes only a short amount of time to set up a smart translator which makes the communication and file transfer with MEP engineers much easier. They don't have to waste time cleaning up and preparing the DWG files they receive for further work. Architects just select the corresponding translator for each consultant and provide the cleanest and best DWG file that fits their unique requirements.